Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at binary numbers. And this is for those of you who might consider going into programming someday and spending more time with Python or another computer programming language, because it's a lot of fun. And Blender gives us, you know, the power to do cool things with it. And so, for instance, right here, what I have is a byte, a single byte. And each byte has eight bits, which can be a one or a zero. All right, these are the digits. So that would be similar to the decimal number system that we use, where we have 10 digits, 0 through 9, because it's base 10. But in binary, it's base 2, means there's only two digits, and those two digits are 0 and 1. And we use 0 and 1 to represent a binary number. All right, so in this particular case, I have this byte of information, which is 8 bits, and I have 8 bits inside, and I have them all turned to 1. Right? So this has a numeric value of something, and the goal is to find out what it is, and we'll see how that works real easily. It's, it's actually quite simple. So let me see. I have on here another layer I can look at right here. I'll pick this up. So you know in the decimal number system, when you're learning numbers, you have the ones place and the tens place and the hundreds place and the thousands place. And if you were to, say, have a number that was like, 3,421, it's really the same as 3 times 1,000 plus 4 times 100 plus 2 times 10 plus 1 times 1. So that's how you multiply it to get your number. Well, binary is similar. Based on what number of digits here are set to 1, you multiply it by the place. So in this case, I have 1 times 1 and 1 times 2. So basically, the two, the ones place is on, the twos place is on, the fours place is on, and the eights place. So all of these placeholders are turned on, like this. And the way you would read it, you would add all these up. So it'd be 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. All of these added together would end up giving you here the number 255, like this. Okay, so. That's what this binary number represents. And in some cases, it can represent a different number, but in the most basic case, it represents 255. All right, so now let's try something else. Let's turn a few of these into zeros. So I'm going to turn the high order, this is a high order bit, we say, and this is the low order bit. So I'm going to turn the high order bit off and put a zero there. And maybe turn this one off and put a zero there. And then I'll turn this one off and put a zero here. And then we're going to have to change this to something else. So now we have a different representation of a binary number. What's well, going to be the same thing? You just go through placeholder at a time. You go, okay, the 64-bit position is turned on. And the 32-bit position is turned on. So 64 plus 32 is 96. And then you have to add 8. So that would be 104. And then you add 4 is 108. And you add 1 is 109. So this binary number is equal to 109 in decimal, like this. OK, so let's try something else. Let's just even look at the most basic case. And I'll just turn this down here. And I'll turn, I'll turn that off. And I'll turn that off. And I'll turn that off. And let's look at a simple number. So a simple number would be something like this. Just You would read this as 0000, zero, zero, zero. 0, 1, 0, 1. And in this case, this would be, of course, only the 4's place is on and the 1's place is on. So in this case, this would be 5, the binary number 5. Okay, so it's that simple. And then the, the challenge then becomes, say, as a programmer, is how do you represent all these numbers? Okay, because sometimes it's, it's hard. You don't want to type out a bunch of zeros and ones. Well, years ago, that's actually how they did it. It was called machine language. You would actually look through tons and tons of code for zeros and ones, and they represented information. So, but things have evolved since then, so it's not so hard. In fact, one of the ways you can do it is you can take advantage of this Python console window in here. And let me just zoom this up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. And there are you always have functions built in, just like I was showing in the uh, trig routines. You can type 4 plus 3, and it tells you the answer is 7, right? And one of the functions is you have the ability to convert things from decimal to binary, from binary to hexadecimal, hex to binary, all that. We'll do hexadecimal maybe in the next lesson. But in this case, you can represent things as a binary number. And that would be the number like this. You would say OB, that's binary, 111, 1111, like that. 
and then it is 255 just like that okay so based on or so let's try this next one. the command is OB like this all right then my number is zero 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 one zero one and there it tells you the number is five like that okay so you can represent it that way or you can go the other way around now I want to know the binary number yeah there it is binary is five and they're listed as OB one zero one right there all right so or if I typed in binary 255 it's going to be one 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 just like I showed you in there okay well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson